All right, here we go. Everyday player football. Um, going to do a quick video here. Talk about the game, obviously. Going to show you the setup for the game. And maybe run through a series or two. So we can see how everything plays out. So uh, it is played with dice. And uh, you're going to need two D6s of the same color. And then I have a third D6 of a different color for play calling. So, um, and, the, and the two D6s are red, low to high. So let's see. That would be a 12, another 12, 16. You get the idea. So, um, there are no individual player cards, but there are player charts. And when you order the game, which is very reasonably priced, at, I think like 14, 15 bucks, something like that, you get multiple seasons from Dave and, um, well, I think there are like six or seven seasons, most of them from the 60s, but there are 70, 1970 season and 1971 season as well. And I'm getting ready to do a game between the 1970 Baltimore Colts and the 1970 Dallas Cowboys, a replay of Super Bowl V, actually. And I'm gonna see if I can reverse the outcome after Dallas's horrific seven turnover performance in a game that I thought they just gave away to the Colts. So, um, Kind of a good segue to, to show you how, how you start the game and sort of like the pre-game work that needs to be done here. First thing you're going to do is you're going to look at the Colts. Hang on a second here. The Colts offense, which is rated a 49. And basically what this 49 is, is you can see all the, all the players have a number next to their name. Those numbers all add up to 49, okay? And then you cross-reference that with the Dallas defense, which is 39. And then you come to this chart here. You can see that our offense is rated a 49 for the Colts, and the Cowboys defense is rated a 39. So the net play factor for the Colts in this game is going to be X, all right? So what does that mean? So when we look at the, the Colts offensive players, we can see that this split end Jefferson is a 4S. Norm Bulash is a 3A. Okay, the, the letters are what we're concerned with here. This person, 2AE, the A is for running plays, and the E is if he is a pat if he is uh Receiving, receiving a pass, all right? So what you do is you come down to this net play factor chart and we can see that, see, Bulash was an A and they are in the X. So Bulash's net play factor is negative one for the game. So every dice roll that Bulash is the ball carrier or the pass receiver is going to be reduced by one for that specific play. Uh, Jefferson is an S, and let's see, the S is here. Jefferson, we're going to add one to every dice roll for him. And I've done this already and set up my score sheet for both teams already. So, Here's the Cowboys, Dwayne Thomas plus two. Calvin Hill and, and Walt Garrison are zeros. Norm Bulash is a, is a minus one. Nowatsky is a negative one as well. Bob Hayes plus three. Lance Rensel plus one. The tight end minus one. And then you can see how the Colts receivers shake out as well. Um, when you go to the kicking, all kicking is done from the same chart, and that would be this one here. And when we look at the Cowboys kicker, Clark 
is a plus one. The putter would be is a zero. So the plus ones and zeros are all modifiers to the dice roll. Okay, would be that would be a forty-five. You look at the forty-five in the kickoff chart, and it's sixty-five yards from the forty, obviously. Um, the second column is the field goal. Same thing, forty-five. Since the goalpost says we all know we're at the at the goal line, you just go from that. So you figure what yard line they're on, and that's how you decide whether or not the field goal is good. This PI right here means possible penalty or interception, or um, I'm sorry, injury on the play. Um, kickoff and punt returns. When I do kickoffs and punts, I always roll three dice. So 36 with no, with no modifications to the dice roll and one, I use that to determine who the kick returner is or who the punt returner is. Let's say the punt returner in this situation is Bob Hayes. We can see that, okay, what is the roll? 36, that would be a 45 yard kick to Bob Hayes. Bob Hayes is an X on the return. So we go to the punt column, no modifications to the dice roll for Bob Hayes. We look at the X column and we roll a 16 and that would be no gain on the return. If that penalty or injury comes up, you roll here. 24, that would be an offensive five yard penalty. And then if there is an injury, obviously you look at this chart, 46, that would be to the left cornerback. Here's your onside kick rules. The LG that you see here refers to long gain. And then this right here is a punt inside the 10 yard line receiving team can, and then you have your options here. Just one, uh, PSA, if I may here, to all game designers out there. Is it possible to please, a, a, a gentle reminder, I guess, at a request to please stop putting black font on dark blue backgrounds? Very difficult to read. I usually have to put this up under the light to see it. So that's it. So let's move on to the game. So... We'll do the coin toss. I always do it this way. Uh, the Colts are considered the home team. The Cowboys are the visitors. And the red die is for the home. The white is for the visitors. And the Cowboys will receive the opening kickoff. So the Colts kicking off. Let's see. Their kicker is all oh, that rookie O'Brien. No modification to the dice roll. It's a 12, it's a short kick, 45 yards. That puts it on the 15, and it's going to be Dwayne Thomas at the 15 for the Cowboys. He is a V on the kickoff return. So we'll take a look, and let's see. 25. That is a 22-yard return out to the 37-yard line. So the Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 37.